Hey everyone, it's Roman's Lexus. Just want to do a quick video of this brand new NX350 F Sport Series 3 package. This one's a 2024 model, one of the new ones we just received. Looks very, very cool. It's ultrasonic blue mica with a red uh, F Sport interior. Look very, very nice and sharp. We have the storage box here on top on roof rails. We have very nice aggressive front end here. As you guys can see, we have everything blacked out except for the very bottom um, plastic piece right there, which it kind of highlight, highlights the car. Looks very, very nice. Of course, we have sensors front and back. We have 360 camera. We have these F-Sport style 20-inch wheels on run flat uh, all-season tires. Looks very, very nice. We have full LED triple uh, triple beam headlamps with the washers for them as well black uh, black mirror caps to highlight the f-sport design then some f-sport badging and of course we have a nice blacked out roof line so you the roof is pretty much black everywhere except for the this uh, back piece here which is body painted and same thing goes for the back we have a nice upgraded F-Sport back bumper, um, full chrome delete for the back, and a little piece on the back to highlight uh, the diffuser. That's how it looks like from the back. Um, also, if you guys are thinking about getting a storage box on top, this is how the car looks like with it. Um, I'm six foot one, and with the end up you're probably looking at um probably about six and a half foot or feet or so uh, just so for your like, garage me measurements and stuff like that um but uh, anyway let's go back to the car i'll show you guys the front and back uh, of course we have a digital entrance so you have electric latch the door itself doesn't move so you have a button on the inside same thing from the inside you open it with, uh, with your thumb and push the door away. Very, very cool. We have nice two-tone leather interior, black and red combination. The interior is a little bit more sharp on the front end because now you have the console that has high up, highlighted red um, leather on there as well. Very, very cool perforated steering wheel. The leather is very, very nice. Um, awesome feel and touch of course we have power seats we have the biggest um, touch screen available which is the 14 inch display um, this is how the roof looks like so you have fully blocked out moon roof and the roof line and um, you can still open the sunroof actually with it there's a good amount of room um, just for people who might consider buying a storage box but that's the interior on the inside. The armrest that opens both ways. You have the same little button on the other side. Let's get inside and I'll start it up for you guys and show you a little bit more on the inside. Everything lights up, very, very nice. We have F-Sport style um, digital cluster so you have a nice big tachometer speedometer right on top uh, you have uh, your car mechanical um, temperature of the coolant your fuel distance to empty is on the bottom with your odometer but everything is uh, pretty straightforward looks very very nice and i don't know if you guys can see that but we do have a um, heads up display as well so that will um, show your um, your speed the way where you're going the adaptive cruise control 14 14 inch display as well the picture might be flickering a little bit because of the camera frame rate but i hope it's not too too bad um, then we have on the bottom side we have the climate settings so we have driver control passenger controls heated cooled seats for driver and passenger right now everything's set up for automatic 
Um, down here we have the wireless charger pad, which can also be moved away. So you have a little bit of storage, very nice and useful. We have different modes. We have Eco, Normal and Sport. And you see that the tachometer changes pretty aggressive. So right now it's normal when it twisted to sport and then you have sport plus as well, which kind of changes the tachometer completely. Gives you a more like a futuristic look to it. But uh, that's it here. Then we have music, basically right here. I'm not gonna play any. I don't wanna get copyright uh, problems. Phone connectivity, car settings. So we have all your driving assist, trip information, pretty much everything would, you would find here about the car. And settings, of course. So you can customize the screen how you like it. Um, the, the one, you can customize a different way. The only thing you will still have the climate control on the bottom here. Um, but um, you can use the Lexus Embedded Navigation, which is supported by Google. Or you can use uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Every time you get in the car, and uh, of course it's wireless so you can just get in your car as soon as you start it up everything will hook up uh, hook up automatically and you can just leave leave your phone on wireless charger and you can use everything from your phone on the screen then we have a nice adjustable um, f-sport steering wheel so we have a little piece here that highlights the f-sport style um, and uh, adjustable buttons on the steering wheel left and right but um, everything is, has kind of a gloss finish um, on the dash. And of course, nice leather that's two-tone. So nothing, nothing too, too crazy, but still very, very nice finish and looks very, very good. You have cup holders. Everything's pretty standard. You have terrain modes, traction control, all that stuff. Most people just leave it as automatic. But that's all. Let me give you guys a quick look on the outside again. With the lights turned on. So that's how it looks like on the outside. We have a nice um, L design light right there and triple beam daytime running lights. Well, these are technically not daytime running lights. They're for a, for a night. These are your um, low beams. In daytime, you would just have this piece lit up. Then, of course, we have the nice single beam tail light in the back. Looks very, very cool. And this car, this car and color really highlights the F-Sport style. Therefore, it uh, you know, looks very, very sharp. It's a great job by Lexus for coming out with this car. Um, also, because, you know, we, they're probably going to keep it the same until 2028 or 2029 or so. So this fits all the criteria, criteria for technology and so on. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.